Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm making this video to address all of those people out there who are wondering where the YouTube app went on iOS 6, and I want to show you around the new YouTube app, and you can download this one in the App Store. It's in the top free apps right now, so you can just download it from there, absolutely free. And basically, the reason why YouTube is no longer on iOS 6 is because Apple's contract with YouTube has ended, unfortunately, and the new YouTube app was released, though, by YouTube in the App Store, so it's okay. Now, I really don't know why all the hate is going towards this new YouTube app. It works well. It actually works works even better than the old one personally. It loads videos faster, clearer, and it's just easier to use. So I'm just going to show you guys how to use it real quick. And after opening it up, you guys will notice that it has a very nice, modern, clean look. Images are nice and bright and big, and I just don't see why people wouldn't like it. To me, it's a very elegant change. It's a nice update over the original iOS YouTube app. You guys can either slide over or tap right here to go to your settings. And here's your channel up here. There's channels you're subscribed to. And here's just all the categories that you can browse through. Now I'm going to go to my channel right here and as you can see I am subscribed if you guys ever want to subscribe to a channel you're gonna click the plus button over here and here's my videos let's just click on one of my videos and I'm gonna pause that and I just want to show you guys right here you can like and dislike the video if you click over here you can add to favorites right here and if you guys want to subscribe there's also a subscribe button right here so automatically when you turn your device over to landscape it goes to full screen right away which is a neat feature you don't have to press anything extra and if you guys just scroll you can see here is a comments, a description. And if you guys want to scroll up, you could just do that right there, giving you more room to respond and just scroll back down. Now, if you guys want to search for a video, there's a really neat feature. It works on all devices. It's YouTube voice search. And let's just go ahead and try it out. How to jailbreak iPhone 4. And it kicks you back to the search results almost right away. It works very well on all devices. And that's just another really cool feature that you wouldn't find on the stock YouTube application. And that's it for this quick summary of YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now the two things that I don't like about this app is that you can't respond to comments and it's not available on my iPad. And I'm sure that's all going to be fixed in a software update very soon. So stay tuned for that guys. I would appreciate it if you would like and favor this video. It helps me a lot. Also subscribe because there's so much stuff coming for iOS 6. You do not want to miss out on it. So make sure to subscribe. Also leave a comment if you guys have any questions and let me know do you guys like this new YouTube app? Do you like the old one? Do you want it back? I'd like to know. Anyways guys have a great day. Peace.